Summary of the 86% Solution How to Succeed in the Biggest Market Opportunity of the 21st Century By Vijay Mahajan and Kamini Bunga Galloping Opportunities Countries with a per capita gross national product of less than $10,000 house 86% of the world's population. These nations are modernizing so fast that they present great opportunities. However, they are not homogeneous. Each country has distinct qualities that form very different contexts for the openings created by galloping development. Incomes range widely from country to country, and from region to region. To sell in developing markets, companies need strategies that fit the facts on the ground. Start with these concepts. Cultural characteristics shape market preferences A developing market consumers seek value in the context of their cultures. To thrive, adapt to cultural requirements. For example, financial service firms that comply with Islamic law have a potential market of 20% of the developing world's population. Immigrants from the developing world form a big diaspora e expats in the developed world often send money home. Success in developed markets can provide a platform for success in developing markets, as demonstrated by Mexico Cemex. It has a program under which Mexicans in the United States can buy cement that their relatives can pick up in Mexico. Market fragmentation is the general rule e China, for example, is not so much a market as a big bundle of local markets. Local brands can be powerful. One proven path is to buy local brands, another is to localize a global brand. Young people want appropriate products and strategies, however, many products that are appropriate in the developed world may not be appropriate in a developing world culture. Developing world incomes are low, e and houses in developing nations are often small. Storage space is scarce, so people don't tie up cash or shelf room with large packages or backlogs of products. Think in terms of just-in-time pantries. Infrastructure is a weakness, a transportation, electricity, water and other basics may be non-existent or in disrepair. This opens the door to products, such as generators or ready-made meals that do not require refrigeration. These help consumers cope with weak infrastructure and poor facilities. Technology creates opportunities e to prosper, bring appropriate technologies to new markets or use technology, for example, cell phones, to acquire previously unreachable consumers. Distribution can be a bottleneck e in some nations, people still rely on market fares in the absence of retail networks. Distribute creatively to serve pent-up demand. Change is constant e however, development follows a more or less predictable trajectory. Companies that understand how development works can ride the wave from one emerging country to another. Designed to fit the market. Hindustan Motors created a product inspired by the Bullock cart to reach the rural Indian market. Most cars and trucks are too wide for Indian village streets and too low for deeply rutted rural roads, but Hindustan Motors' rural transport vehicle copes with these conditions as well as a traditional Bullock cart, yet with the benefits of motorized transport. Ford has also succeeded in India by taking account of local conditions, in this case, the fact that many Indians who can afford cars have chauffeurs, so rear seat air, conditioning and lighting are important. The fundamentals of product design for developing countries are Design for value e even with low prices, buyers expect quality. Innovate or borrow innovations e oral BS brush UPS are throwaway toothbrushes that include toothpaste. Since they don't require water, they might succeed with consumers in emerging markets. Adapt to the absence of a consumer culture, EMW hit trouble in China when it offered a money-back guarantee on its products. Chinese customers used the products and repeatedly returned empty bottles for replacement. Amway's refund costs soared to more than $100,000 daily. Don't take developed world consumer habits for granted, i.e., lining up or clearing one's own fast food tray. Educate your customers or adapt to their ways. Design for religious and cultural preferences, customize your offering for the market you want to reach, for example, a halal food product has a religious advantage in Muslim countries. Think of what the product means to the user, Indian housewives express their love for their families, in part, by rubbing soap bars on their laundry. This damaged soap powder sales, so Hindustan Lever developed a bar of superior laundry detergent. 
market to wealthy housewives in India, these memsahibs set an example that greatly influences their domestic employees. These affluent housewives may buy mobile phones for their staffers, send their kids to school or tell them which medicines to take. Pay attention to the diaspora. Outmigration is a fact of life in the developing world. Immigrants constitute an enormous market in the developed world and a potential channel to larger markets in their homelands. The World Bank estimates that the diaspora remits some $93 billion a year back home, a flow of funds second only to foreign direct investment. People with close ties to developing countries are the developed world's fastest growing population segment. Recognize the opportunities that immigrant populations present. These tips, based on the experience of successful firms, may help. Recognize diaspora opportunities. People who live outside of their home countries may provide ways for companies to penetrate those nations. One of Mexico's biggest mortgage finance firms lets Mexican immigrants in the U.S. take out loans to finance their relatives' home purchases in Mexico. Retailers in New York City and Chicago sell appliances that don't fit U.S. electric outlets, recognizing that buyers will send the machines to relatives back home. Facilitate the flow of money and information, Western Union, Walmart and 7-Eleven markets are all in the remittance business. Isisai Bank even has a Money to India program. Telecommunications providers, such as India's Reliance Infocom, have developed special, discounted plans for calls from the developed world to immigrants' home countries. Some firms find opportunities in helping entrepreneurs, for example, a California venture capital fund invests in startups in India. Develop products and services for immigrants living abroad. Frito-Lay sells brands produced by its Mexican subsidiaries to Mexican immigrants in the US who want a taste of home. Patak is among Britain's leading Indian food brands. When immigrants go home, be there in India and Mexico, returning travelers benefit from discount airlines, matchmaking and wedding services, and stores offering language assistance and local credit cards. Work both ends of the line, Bollywood movies are big hits among the Indian diaspora populations in the United Kingdom, Australia and the US Suleka is an online community catering to Indians all around the world. Similarly, such Chinese portals as Sina are popular among both in-country and overseas Chinese. Export from the developing world, diaspora expats from emerging markets may offer channels for selling goods from their homelands to the developed world. Localize the brand. And Huser Bush bid $700 million for China's Harbin Brewery because its brand is so strong in northern China. Foreign brewers learned the importance of local beer brands in China from their first, expensive, unsuccessful attempts to penetrate the market. Contrary to the predictions in the globalization of markets by Theodore Levitt, globalization has not erased local brands, which remain popular. No single Indian market or Chinese market exists. Each country has hundreds of local markets, dominated by hundreds of local brands. In such fragmented, emerging markets, let the following principles guide your strategic thinking. Become a local brand EMTV and Disney have learned about localization. For Disney, the lesson was particularly difficult. Disappointments at Euro Disney led to a different approach at Hong Kong Disneyland. The company offered Chinese language programs and foods. It even considered the principles of feng shui when it designed the park. MTV offers programming in local languages, such as Hindi. By local brands to enter the market, a local acquisitions have been an important market entry strategy in China for Coca-Cola. eBay has acquired local brands in China, India, and Korea. Build your own local brand, e acquisitions can be expensive. Hindustan Lever launched Wheel, a local Indian company that offers value at an affordable price, and it is now one of the nation's leading brands. Understand the position of global brands A global brands have connotations only in global communications. In rural markets, even famous brands may be unfamiliar. Conversely, global brands associated with particular countries may suffer from historic animosities toward those nations. Recognize rural risks and opportunities, going beyond sophisticated and affluent urban markets has potential pitfalls and possible rewards. Coca-Cola tried to penetrate rural Chinese markets at the risk of losing its urban middle-class cachet. 
Procter & Gamble developed a special brand of toothpaste for the rural market, and has seen sales of that brand grow along with sales of Crest, its flagship brand. Adapt your advertising and product promotion to local conditions, e. Colgate, Palmolive sends vans to Indian villages to explain what toothbrushes and toothpaste are and how to use them. Small houses, low incomes, and young consumers. Developing countries' low incomes and small houses make Western packaging and pricing impractical and unaffordable. In India, Unilever and Cavin Care offer products in little packages with low prices, because that is what consumers prefer, can afford, and can shelve. When Cemex, the Mexican cement company, recognized that low income customers took an average of four years to build a single room, it developed a special program to help them save time and money. Young people in developing markets want the emblems of the global youth culture, such as mobile phones and laptops. But while they may have one foot in the MTV generation, the other is firmly planted in traditional culture. A Middle Eastern knockoff of the UK reality show, Big Brother, lasted only two episodes after 1,000 people protested in the streets because a man and a woman kissed on the show. Numerous, diverse influences affect the emerging country youth market. Parents are decidedly in the picture. Education is a priority and is seen as a great opportunity. Infrastructure issues. Infrastructure is a pervasive problem in developing markets. Electricity is unreliable, refrigeration is scarce, roads are bad and the water is undrinkable. Each condition presents a problem and an opportunity. Companies profit from the absence of infrastructure by offering substitutes, like generators water filters and vehicles capable of negotiating bad roads. Companies have made money by offering detergents that require very little water, food in packages that don't need refrigeration, and pricing or payment practices that fend off shadow economy predators. Distribution can be difficult in emerging markets, where retailers often have small den, like shops. These tiny stores are ubiquitous in China, the Philippines, India, Africa, and elsewhere. Local brands often devise distribution and delivery systems that make excellent use of these channels. Unilever built different distribution systems for various market segments, even sending sales representatives to market fairs associated with religious celebrations in rural India. Similarly, Citibank has a branchless bank network of thousands of sales agents who visit customers' homes. Emerging markets follow some reasonably consistent development patterns. Companies should study these patterns to understand how these markets are changing and what new opportunities will arise.